Hello, I am Dr Caroline Davis Brooks and I'm a scientific editor at the Cambridge Crystallographic Data Centre, the CCDC. Welcome to this how-to tutorial on hydrogen bonds in CCDC's visualisation software, Mercury. Let's get started. First of all, let's open Mercury from the desktop icon or from the CCDC applications folder. In this example, we will use a structure of pyridoxine, a form of vitamin B6. To bring up the structure, we will type its ref code into the structure navigator pane on the right hand side. B I T Z A F. Can you predict which atoms are hydrogen bond donors and which ones are acceptors? Before turning on the hydrogen bonds to visualise them in the structure, we will see the definition used in Mercury. In the display options box at the bottom, we see H bond default definition. Double click on the default definition to bring up the define H bonds window. We can see and select the donor atom types in the box on the left. The acceptor atom types in this box on the right. We can edit the range for the distance of the hydrogen bond interaction either using the van der Waals radius as the unit or the actual distance between atoms. And we can also select to visualise either intermolecular contacts or intramolecular contacts, or both. For intramolecular contacts, we see in this case that we want donor and acceptor atoms separated by at least three covalent bonds within the molecule. At the top of this window, we have the option to require hydrogen atoms to be present. When this box is unticked, it is not necessary for the 3D coordinates of the H atom to be known. This is particularly useful if H atoms have not been located in the structure you are analysing, as the hydrogen bonds will be displayed anyway. If we tick the box, we see that now we could also change the donor hydrogen acceptor angle threshold value. For this example, we have ticked on the box to require hydrogens to be present and left the rest as the default. Click OK to save these edits. To visualise hydrogen bonds in the structure, we simply tick the box next to H bond. As we have just edited the definition hydrogen bonds, we are already on for us. Hydrogen bonds appear as dotted lines with the contact atom hanging at the end of it. We can observe that the pyridoxine molecule in this structure forms five hydrogen bonds, one of which is intramolecular. We can see at the top right that the picking mode changed to expand contacts. In this mode, we can click on each hanging atom and it will display the full molecule it belongs to. We can observe that once we expand the contact, the dotted line colour turns from red to cyan. We can continue expanding the contacts of the molecules we have just brought up until we are satisfied with the network we are visualising. At this point, we might want to remove the contacts that are left hanging. To do so, we right click on a contact and we can see a number of options coming up. For this, we'll choose Delete Hanging Contacts. You are now ready to analyse your hydrogen bonds and to start using Mercury for crystal engineering. Find in the description more resources and video suggestions to use the tools in Mercury to analyse hydrogen bond interactions and assess stability of your structure. All the features highlighted in this video are available through both the free Mercury and the more advanced licensed version of Mercury. For more information, go to the link in the description. Thank you for watching.